full MQA decoding and rendering from the M from the full MQA decoding. Oh my God! It will also handle full MQA decodering. What is wrong with me? This is easily the best sounding smartphone I've ever used. Easily. It's much better than the iPhone, better than the Xiaomi phone. It doesn't quite have the punch of the iPhone, but everything else is by far and away superior in terms of sound quality. Um, there's two reasons for this. Number one, LG have specified an ESS DAC chip inside that takes care of DA conversion and headphone drive. But not, ju not just that, They've also worked in collaboration with the guys from MQA to ensure that the audio is bit perfect all the way down through the operating system onto the Qualcomm chip where the MQA decoder and renderer sits. And that benefits all music played back through this phone. So it's the hardware and the software that makes this sound so good. This phone does all streaming services, plays back from a micro SD card. It will also handle full MQA decoding and rendering from any MQA files stored on the micro SD card. That's not the only party trick that this phone has because if I pull up Tidal and I pull up, say, uh, an MQA encoded album like, like David Bowie's Station to Station, we can see the word master here. The LG V30 is the first smartphone in the world to have MQA compatibility inside the Tidal smartphone app. So I can listen to MQA on this um, if I want to. I don't, I don't always have to. Um, it does, to me, it sounds better than, than normally encoded music. It's a little bit more I know, a bit more relaxed, but sometimes it has a bit more pop as well. So it's hard to really describe how, how much better it is. But it, MQA is still a marginal concern. The real message here is that this phone sounds fantastic with all music. All music. Redbook, Spotify streaming, SoundCloud streaming, Mixcloud streaming, Tidal Hi-Fi. It sounds better than my Sony DAP which is a real surprise. And here's the shocker really, this Sony DAP, when I bought it a few years ago, 1500 bucks. This LG smartphone sells for around seven or 800 bucks right now. So here's my question. If we can have a phone that sounds really, really good like this, then surely we don't need portable players like this anymore. Right? If every phone sounded as good as this LG phone, we wouldn't need to use digital audio players. We wouldn't need a second device. We just take our phone with us because it sounds great.